Hello, I'm Rachel Jones with the Finance News Network. Joining me from Powerhouse Ventures is CEO Paul Viney. Paul, welcome to the network. Thank you. So Powerhouse Ventures is a very early investor. Can you give me a brief overview? Certainly, our investment managers work with our university partners. They, uh, they walk the corridors of the universities and they find uh, exciting groundbreaking IP from which we form spin-out companies, uh, we build boards, and we uh, recruit CEOs and CTOs to take the companies forward. So now to your first half 18 results. What were the highlights? Well, I'm afraid there weren't really any highlights. It was a period where Powerhouse's performance was impacted by three main things. Firstly, CropLogic, an investing company that listed on the Australian Stock Exchange in the period, has had some share price weakness, and that has directly flowed through to Powerhouse's profit and loss. In addition, we've got two other companies that are misbehaving somewhat, and they are Motum and Solarbright. Uh, we've made ASX announcements about those companies. With Motum, Powerhouse has intervened and we've found a potential buyer for the company and the IP. That would include employment of all the people. We're working with the shareholders and the board of Motum to complete that transaction. So we're hopeful of some good news in the near future. With Solarbright, unfortunately the founders have removed the IP from the company and Powerhouse is working with the new board of Solarbright to retrieve that IP and hopefully transact. The IP is valuable and we're hopeful of retrieving value for the shareholders. And now to your operating model, can you talk about some recent changes and some early wins? In the 100 days since I've taken over as Chief Executive, I've been working with the board to review our model. Uh, it's clear that we have to operate a lower cost model, uh, that's appropriate for an ASX listed company. So we've done that, we've refined our team, but I'm pleased to say we've also employed three new uh, young graduates from University of Canterbury and they're working uh, with the investment team, but also with me and the portfolio on great news stories, and we've got plenty of those. Uh, in addition, we have realised that we need to, to demonstrate to the market that we can make returns. And in the period, we have disposed of a couple of off-model companies at substantial returns, one at a 4x and one at a 10x. And what can you tell me about the work you're doing with CSIRO? Yes, well, it's a, it's a large organisation. It's very interesting and uh, there has been some, some focus in the press about the fact that they don't commercialise enough uh, research and uh, we're here to help with that. Uh, we've been working with CSIRO in Melbourne and in Sydney. Um, there's a lot of IP in there and there's not much being looked at. So Powerhouse can certainly help with this and we think we've identified uh, a number of investments that we'd like to spin out. Thanks Paul. And now to your Australian expansion work, what can you tell me about the work you're doing with the universities? Well, we've already been working with a number of universities for some many months. Our first investment uh, in Farinova out of UniSA is going very well. We're also working and talking to Adelaide University and Flinders University. In addition, Powerhouse is particularly interested in Deakin University. They've got a lot of research money being spent currently and they do have a good commercialisation team and we'd like to work with them. And Paul, what does Powerhouse offer in exchange? Working with universities is not easy. Many venture capital firms try to work with universities, but in so doing, they just don't have the right attitude. Powerhouse is different. We're patient, we understand, and we know that for the universities, they want far more than just to spin out a new company and make money. There are different drivers for them, and we get it. Last question, Paul. What can investors expect in terms of news flow over the next six months? Well, Powerhouse is a complex company. It's an investment house primarily, and we have investments in 25 companies and probably soon to be 30 or 35. Therefore, it's, it's complicated. So I've taken the stance of employing a graduate comms specialist to help me to explain the new technologies that we're finding. And you'll see a lot of news flow about the exciting new companies we're spinning out. Paul Viney, thanks for the update. Thank you.